My name is Conor McGregor and I live in Lucan. And what's your status or what's your profession? I'm a professional MMA fighter with a record of 4 and 1. Um, I'm an up and coming fighter and without a doubt you will see me on the UFC in the near future. Without a doubt. You can have anything you want, if you want it badly enough. You can be anything you want to be, do anything you set out to accomplish if you hold to that desire with singleness of purpose. I've always had visions of better. I've always visualized better. And in times of struggle, like driving around, driving down in a banger of a car that I had to push start. I'd be still driving a soft top Bentley around beautiful California in my head and lo and behold now I am driving a beautiful soft top Bentley around California so I always visualized good things I always visualized victory, success, abundance I visualized it all and it's all happening yeah, I don't just knock them out, I picked around John. Yeah, I said this, I'm sure you are probably all thinking in your head, this guy is talking absolute dribble. He's not gonna do what he says he's gonna do. You are probably all sitting there thinking that. But now here we are again, and I done what I said I was gonna do. I feed off this, I feed off this. I love this stuff, this is what gives me energy. Saying I'm gonna do something, saying, putting it out there for the world to see, and then going out and doing it. There's no better feeling in the world than that. And it's as easy as that. Say what you're gonna do, and go and do it. I knew I was gonna be the person to bring martial arts to the public eye. And now it's happening, you know what I mean? There's two things I've learned from all from these past seven months. Number one is that hard work pays off. And number two is that dreams come true. And that's what's happening. It's a beautiful feeling when, when preparation meets opportunity, you know, nothing it. Nothing is impossible, you know what I mean? You can you can achieve anything. I'm gonna continue going on this journey and if the title shot is next, I will take it. If not, at the end of the day, I already feel like that is mine. I already feel like that belt is mine. So, eventually, one by one, I will get every single one of them until there is no one left. And then I will decide what to do from there. But the belt is already mine, I feel. All that matters is how you see yourself. If you see yourself, the king, you know what I mean? You see yourself with all the belts and all, all everything. And no matter what no one else says, as long as you see that and really believe in it, then that's what's gonna happen. Who can tell you otherwise? Who says what way you see things? Who says what you see out of your eyes? I saw myself in that light. I saw myself as the as the number one, you know, I saw myself as the champion. Even before anyone else did. I just kept that in my head. That's just the way it is, it's 24 7 in my head. I always think about it, I'm always down, I don't do anything else. And, and knowing, that, knowing that, that I have that kind of mentality about it, that's what gives me confidence going in there. Of course, I visualize the belt, man. That belt, that belt, that belt is on me up 24 7. You need to tell yourself if you're going to win or lose. There is no opponent, there's no Jose Aldo. Who is Jose Aldo? There's no no one. You're against yourself. I believe in myself so much that nothing is going to stop me. I am an Irish legend, That's true. man. I'm, I'm a living legend. Yeah, I see myself as the champ already. Already? The, you're the featherweight champion yeah, already? Yeah, of course. I see myself from, as the champ from day one. Before I even started training, I always saw myself as the champ. That's now, how I see myself. I visualize myself already there. I visualize everything. I visualize this conversation. I visualize the walkout. I visualize everything going on. I know I, know I have shots picked out that I'm going to throw in this fight in five weeks. You know what I mean? I, I have seen everything in my head, and now. It's gonna happen. You see it in your head. You're gonna see it before your eyes. That's what I say. Excellence is a isn't is not a skill. Excellence is an attitude. You know what I mean? And it's all in your head. You know, you tell yourself you you you, you are what you, you are. Whatever you tell yourself, you, are, you know what I mean? And I'm telling myself I'm the two way champ. You know what I mean? That that's that. You know what they say? When you see it in your head, who says that? When someone says when you see it in your head, you're gonna see it before your eyes. And that's what happened. Yeah, I, just, I hope that I hope that inspires people to to get out and chase what they chase what they're chasing. You know what I mean? And get after it. Have fun, man. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck. I'm just here to have fun. You know what I mean? And when you have when you have a when you have a love for life, it's contagious. You know what I mean? And it, it just attracts good stuff and attracts good things to you. And it, it has been working for me so far. So I'm just gonna keep going, keep having fun, and just and just keep keep doing what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Nothing changes for me, and not just keep doing what I'm doing.
the new undisputed UFC featherweight champion, Conor McGregor. Conor, you've been dreaming about this moment. You've been talking about this moment. Honestly, though, does it feel the way you thought it would? Yeah, it does. It feels beautiful. I dreamt this so much, so clearly, so pre precisely, and so frequently that it has manifested itself into reality. And that's what we—that's uh, what I am feeling right now. It's—it's it's a dream come true. I said his right hand would get him into trouble. It's the shot I predicted. I said he'd overload on his right hand. I said I'd slip. I said I'd bang the left hook, uh, left hook, and that's what happened. How do you do that? How I do you mean, predict these? If things? you can see it here and you have the courage enough to speak it, it will happen. So I see these shots, I see these sequences, and I don't shy away from them. A lot of times people believe in certain things, but they keep to themselves. They don't put it out there. If you truly believe in it, if you become vocal with it, you are creating that law of attraction and it will <clears throat> become reality. Connor, in February of 2013, we spoke for the first time. You didn't have a car, you didn't have a pot to piss in. All you had were blueberries. Yeah. Now here you are with the undisputed gold. Enjoy it, my friend. You deserve it, you called it. Yeah, from nothing to something to everything. So that's where I am right now. Undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. I have been feeling like the UFC world champion since the day I arrived here. Did you have faith maybe back then that your time would come and that you would be able to explode onto the scene as you had? If I didn't, it wouldn't have happened. So I had to believe in it, I had to feel it, I had to have faith in it for it to happen. So you're damn right I did. I can do what I've been dreaming of doing given back to the people who have given so much to me. I just wanted to give it back and help out and just do that and just... My mother and father are still young. Now they, now they have their feet up, they can relax, they can... They are in a new place, so it's good. That's, that's something I always dreamed of. I always, I always visualize what giving would feel like, giving to people who have given to me, what that would feel like. I always dreamed of just showing up one day and be like, here, and that would always give me like good feelings. You have a clear, like, you have a clear picture in your head of something that is, is going to happen, uh, and, and uh, a clear belief in that it will happen no matter what. Then no, nothing can stop it. You know what I mean? It is destined to happen, and that, that's what that's what happens. You know what I mean? It's it's perfect. I feel to be at the pinnacle of any game, in any whatever you do, you've got to be a little bit gone to it. You're not all there. You've got to be almost insane to your craft. Mm. Not a lot of people can understand that. That's why I don't know about nothing else. I do not pay attention to nothing else. When I was a kid, I used to always visualize stadiums. And, and like, even when I was playing football, I'd kick the ball against the wall and I'd, I'd pretend I scored a goal and I'd run off and I'd be raising my hand and visualizing a arena full of fans. You know, that, that was something I'd done as a kid out, out on my own. I'd like, just run around kicking the ball. So I always had these visions of something but I just didn't know what it was. I think it's important that you put a conscious, uh, a conscious effort into appreciating your surroundings, you know what I mean? That's what I do with this place. I absolutely love this city. You know, you need to appreciate your surroundings and be grateful for it, and, and that's when good things happen, you know what I mean? But to have that bitterness and that negativity, then, then things start going bad, you know what I mean? So I, I think the fact that I have them thoughts and that, the fact that I, I appreciate everything and I'm grateful for, for for the things around me and the, the way things are going, that is why, that's why it's going so good for me. It, it's crazy how things just form, dreams just form into reality. This is the law of attraction, I and mean, you have to, in, in the struggle, you know, you, when, when things are going good and you visualize these good things happening, you visualize more good things happening, that's easy. What's not easy to do is when things are going bad and you're visualizing the good stuff. And that, that was what I was able to do, I was able to, you know, even though uh, I was having these troubles at home, and even though I had no real, I had no job, no, you know what I mean, or whatever, didn't know what, actually what I was doing. If it didn't happen, it didn't happen, but I still was able to feel like it was. I still was able to go into a different, just like my, use my imagination, like a kid would use his imagination. I was basically just using my imagination. 
get, uh, driving a, 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 a little Peugeot, my girlfriend's car, a little Peugeot 206, and I was <laughs> driving that, shaking down the road, and I visualised that, and I swear to God, sitting in the traffic and all, I visualised, I'm sitting here holding the steering wheel, visualising a brand new car, and visualising good things in, in, in times of struggle. And that, that, when you can do that, I think that really makes the, 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 that law of attraction work. I think it really attracts to you more. You know what I mean? Because that is harder to do when you're in the struggle to, to visualize these things. There's another thing, what, what do you want to be? You know, I, I don't, I don't want to be anything. I, I am, I am what I, I am everything I want to be. You know, I'm already there. You know? I don't, I don't want anything. You know? People say, people say like, I want this. Five year point now is want. You're always gonna want. And I always have the attitude that I have. And I always again I always felt like I was the uh, black belt walking in there. You know what I mean? I always felt like I was the world champion. I always felt like I, I already could do everything. I was only telling you about the sofa the other day I was walking. Got the rental walking around <coughs> walking around like I was a fucking pro. You know what I mean? But I don't I don't want anything. I have everything. That, that's a mindset I want me. I have everything I have everything. I done everything I said I was gonna do. I was laughed at. I was literally laughed at to win that second world title. When I first came in, to, I was gonna take these two world titles down. Laughed at. That's never gonna happen. An Irish man even winning the UFC. When I said that, I was laughed at. So I said I was gonna win the two world titles. I won them. I done everything I said I was gonna do. I, I, every every move is a calculated step. Make no mistake about that. It's only what? It's only January of 2017. I'm already the face of the UFC. I'm already the face of boxing. I'm already the face of the WWE. And I'm already the face of Hollywood. Yep, yeah! <laughs> and that's only January. That's only January. But in the media, I stated many times, all the way up as a dream to, to climb above that cage and raise them two belts. That was in every interview I've ever done. So, when I won the fight and they strapped it, that Dennis Eva situation, when I grabbed the two belts, was before I'd even got one belt. Yes, yes. That's how much the power of visualization, that's how, that's how strong the power of visualization is. I wasn't even a UFC world champion at that time. And already I was grabbing two of them and flaunting it in everybody's face. I believed it was gonna happen. I put the work in for it to happen and it happened. So it's a, it's a strong thing, the power of visualization. That motherfucker's been a part of my shit since I'm 16. 15, 16, I started trying to play with that. Started trying, to, started trying to visualize things. I used to drive into a car park and try and visualize a car spot right next to the door and try and get that car spot and really try and visualize. I've been playing with that law of attraction and visualization a long time. So since I'm 16, since I first discovered it, if you can see it here, even the other day, I left my home and like, I was flustered leaving the home. I had to rush before I had to catch a flight here. I tried to rush into town and I was in a hurry, panicking. I got pulled over by the old bill in a, in a sweat. And then I hit the city center and then I hit a traffic jam. I'm saying this like when you, when you feel that rush or when you feel, you know, it just, it just keeps going and going and going. So I just sat and count to 10, patient. And then everything opened up for me and I rolled through. So I don't know, it's been a part of my life a long time. I've been playing with it. I can't pinpoint an actual moment, but I tell you what, it fucking works.